Hey there, everyone. Thank you for joining Utah Beer News for the latest in our one-on-one -on -one conversations with local brewers, breweries, and everyday imbibers. I'm Tim Heron, the founder of Utah Beer News, and we are back for our regular check-in with Joey Cardasio, the service manager at Slackwater Pub and Pizzeria in Sandy. Welcome back, Joey. Hey, thanks. How you doing, Tim? I'm doing great. It's November. Thanks, yeah. as always, for taking the time to talk with Utah Beer News. Yeah, you got uh, it. Before we get started, congratulations to Slackwater Sandy on celebrating its two-year anniversary. Yeah, today, November 4th, is two, day, two years to the day since we opened the doors down here, and it's been quite quite the two years. <laughs> I, that's what I was going to ask. What have yeah. these last two years been like for you at I mean, Slackwater? Well, I mean, it, it started out normal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you had a couple of good months there before yeah, everything kind of went sideways. And then we had a, then we had COVID hit. And we closed for six weeks completely. Um, came in and deep cleaned everything and kind of revamped the restaurant, even though we only been open for a few months at that point, five months. Um, and then we reopened. Uh, I believe we reopened on May first because we closed down like the day before St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Um, reop reopened around May first. And then just been getting at it ever since. Awesome. Busier and busier every day. Yeah. So one of the lucky ones, you know. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, we're good. We're good. Good to go. Nice. Well, yeah. Happy anniversary. Okay. Thank you. For um, <laughs> for viewers and listeners, uh, I generally don't know which beers you are going to highlight until a few minutes before we start recording. And you sent me the picture today, and I had to catch my breath. This is quite the trio. <laughs> from, from can art alone from the labels yeah. alone so i can't wait to learn more about them what's the first cool. one you want to talk about first one is from uh pipeworks brewing they're in chicago um okay. we have a couple of their a couple of their beers and it's brand new into into, into utah this is their spice latte mm. so it's a pumpkin spice latte inspired beer okay. um it's an, it's a 6.6 percent it's an oat ale um with pumpkins coffee lactose vanilla clove ginger so all the spices are involved wow um it's pretty spicy it's pretty hoppy but it's really really well balanced it's uh -huh. a really nice just a really nice fall beer if you're into the pumpkin spice craze you'd probably sure. love this beer yeah and it's probably got some kind of a creamy mouthfeel to it i would imagine a little bit, too. Yeah. yeah it has lactose but i don't get much of the lactose honestly okay. but but uh, and there's just a super subtle um coffee coffee notes to it um but it's nice. it's really really good i like it it's, nice. it's a lot of, it's a lot of spice and uh some hop mm -hmm. well balanced stuff really okay. good cool yeah i've enjoyed um, a, not, a couple a couple of the pipeworks beers i've had at your place there they do good work yeah yeah they're the they're the ones that make the ninjaverse unicorn which yeah. is which is in the liquor store and this yeah. just popped up um a couple weeks ago and we had it We've, we've had it for about a week or two now, but now you can get it in, you can get it here, obviously, but you yeah. can get it at, you can get it at the liquor stores now. Oh, sweet. Cool. Um, yeah, it's really, yeah. And it's pretty, it looks like, it looks like they have a couple of cases at each liquor store. So it's pretty readily available. Very good. Okay. And then the second one. That, yeah. Next I got the, uh, the sword of Surter from Mason Ale Works. So Mason Ale Works okay. is in San Diego. Um, they are the ones that own, or the other way around, uh, Beer Zombies, which is at the Gateway. Mm -hmm. um, but this, but we just got a, a crop of about six different Mason Ale Works beers, and they're just exclusive to Slackwater here and Slackwater and Ogden. Oh, um, neat. So we have, so this one that I'm featuring, the Sword of Suter, is uh, 13%. It's an Imperial Pastry Stout. Oh. Uh, coffee, uh, cacao. And it's, it says on the can, chocolate sandwich cookies. So basically Oreos. Oreos, yeah. I guess, But I guess they can't use that word. Yeah, lawyers <laughs> probably said no Oreos. Yeah. And, uh, and marshmallow. So okay. it's obviously pretty sweet. It's a sweet, you know, pastry stout. Um, real, uh, to me, it's subtle, subtle coffee on it, um, but really nice. If you're into big, heavy, sweet stouts, this is, this is a must try for sure. Yeah. Again, 13%. Yeah, that's one yeah. you might want to split with somebody after dinner, after a pizza. Enjoy that one with a yeah. with a friend. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. And then last tasty, I got, though. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really good. And then last, I have a, a new local from our friends at Saltfire. Um, their collaboration with the heavy heavy metal shop in Salt Lake. 
This yeah. is the uh, heavy metal parking lot. So this is a black lager. Um, this is 6.66%. Um, very metal. <laughs> malty, malty, slightly sweet, a little bit of a complex finish. Um, uh -huh. just, a, just a nice, pretty crushable, dark yeah. lager. Um, yeah. It's, a, it's kind of a style that you don't see too many, too many mm -hmm. of floating around. So that's no. why when I saw when I saw they released it, I was like, "Oh, this would be this would be good to sell because we don't have too many too many dark lagers." Right. Um, and yeah, people have been loving it. Uh, really yeah. good. Yeah, I, I continue to be yeah I continue to be impressed with Salt Fire. I haven't tried that one yet, but uh, uh, yeah. I made it down to to Tap Room not too long ago and and had a few of their beers, and they just do a great job all the way around, and uh, it's yeah. a cool place. So yeah, I love it over there. Nice. Well, those are three awesome beers we'll have to check out at Slackwater. Uh, before yeah. we wrap up uh, the three beers, what else do you have going on this month? Uh, at yeah, so, so this month we have a tap takeover with Roja. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be here on Wednesday, November 17th okay. um, at five, five o'clock till close. We'll have four of their drafts on for $4 a pint. And they'll be here representing probably with some swag and hanging out, talking beers. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a fun night. That'll, that's on the 17th. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Very good. And yeah. now we're getting into the holiday season too. So uh, I'm excited to see kind of what, uh, what the brewers come out with for the holidays, yeah. kind of some special one-offs or uh, things to kind of take to holiday gatherings and parties and things like that. It's going to be fun yeah. to see. I'm already dropping sours and adding stouts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah, be, uh, be sure to visit Slackwater in November to enjoy any of these three beers and follow Slackwater on social media. Check out its current beer list on its website and on Untapped. It's always changing, getting notifications almost daily about new ones you're adding to the list. So it's very cool. So thanks, Joey, for joining yeah, you got it. Utah Beer News, and uh, we'll see you next time. Sounds good. Thanks.